Woo! Okay, so that means I have to be nice now. So I will. Uh, <laughs> all right. So right now, really all we're looking at for these guys is what do they have in common? So for 3x squared plus 5x, we look and see if they have, first we look at the coefficients, the 3 and the 5. Do they have anything in common besides, any factor in common besides 1? And the answer is no. Would you agree? Yeah, because it would only be the x. Correct. So and so, what do they have in common, x or x squared? Just x. Okay. So we would factor out the x, yes? Um, and then if we factor out an x here from this guy, the 3 is certainly left, isn't it? Yeah. And there were two x's, so now there's 1. And just be plus five. Like. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you tell me how to do B? I think maybe we're just going to run through these. Maybe all of them. We'll see how you're doing. Okay. Okay. So I know like the common factor would have to be X because like you can't really divide by anything else. Mm -mm. And then I think inside would be 2x minus 7. Excellent. Um, I think on the outside, like, of the parentheses, what you're going to, like, factor out would be 3x. Excellent. And then inside is x plus 2. Good. I almost said six. I don't know why, but I almost <laughs> did. And then, you know, you can check it in your head, right? Mm -hmm. So just in your head, you know, say, okay, three X times X, that's three X squared and three X times two, that's six X. So I must, you know, I'm good. Um, you can take out four X. Mm -hmm. And so it'd just be um, x minus 2. Doing fantastic. Um, I think you'd just be able to take out x, but I don't know if it would have to be negative or not. Um. It doesn't matter. It would just depend. Um, it would just depend on the situation you were in that you were using the factoring for. We factor to be able to do things with them later on in in math, right? So I would say it's equal. Go ahead and factor out the x, just the x. And what would you be le left with? Negative two x. Uh huh. Um, just nine. Okay. And let's just give another answer too. Let's say, like you said, we factored out the negative x. What would happen here? It'd be a positive 2x. Uh huh. Um, minus 9. Mm -hmm. And why minus 9? Because the negative from the x and the negative from the 9 will cancel out. And make it what? A positive 9x. That's what I'm talking about. So I guess maybe I'm going to, I think I'm going to say that this is the preferred mm -hmm. way to factor out the negative because anytime you can factor out a negative integer, then you should like in this one. Okay. So like in um, like E, it was like the 9x wasn't like it didn't have a negative with it. So either way, you can still factor out a negative like it mm -hmm. that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because okay. because you just re replace a sign just like you did. Right. Mm -hmm. Because a negative times a negative gives you the positive. So, okay. yeah. Yep. So then this one, you would take out negative 3x. Uh-huh. And then you'd be left with just um, x and then minus 5. Oh, wait. 
plus five. Why? Because um, the negative three x um, or negative fifteen x divided by negative three x would make, cancel out and make a positive. Five. Sure would, and also when you check negative three x times a positive five gives you the negative fifteen x, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give us some more room here. Okay, boom. You're doing very well. Very exciting. I'm not sure how you're going to be able to sleep, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um. So I'm going to say you can divide by negative 4x. Uh-huh. Good. So just be left with, I guess, just like 1. Mm -hmm. And then plus, oh, wait, minus um, 2x. Fabulous. You're kind of disappointing me because I haven't been able to yell at you yet. And that's what <laughs> I enjoy most. Because you, you almost make a mistake and then you catch yourself, which is really great. <laughs> really good i think once i like get to like the more complicated ones that's when i'll be messing up so oh good no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding all right minus that x squared all right let's go okay so you can divide by negative 5x uh-huh and then you would have inside um one plus two x squared two x I agree. I think we're going to skip her. Oh, no, no, we're not. I like some stuff in there. Um, okay. Yep. Divide by 4x. Okay. Or negative 4x. It's almost like you want to keep the first one positive. Okay. Oh, right. Um, so you would have just like 3x. Oh, three, sorry. Okay. Um, and then it'd be plus minus one. Minus one X. Or just X, sorry. Yeah. Because I see you have on your big uh, big girl hoodie, and we don't write the one in front of the X anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. little more fun. What do we got? Um, I think you can only just factor out an x. Mm -hmm. so then on the inside, it'd just be x squared plus x and then plus 1. Because mm -hmm. x times 1 is x, right? All right. Um, I think the only thing you're going to be able to factor out is an X. I know, and the two and the four, it's very tempting, isn't it? Yeah. But no. Um, it'd just be four. Oh, wait. wait, what did I do? 2x cubed. Yeah, this is right. 11x squared plus 4. I got confused for a second. You're right. And L. Um, and this, you can factor out A only. And so it'd just be A times B plus C plus D, I think. Yep. M. I think the only thing you can back out is AX. I agree. And then you just be left with AX on the inside. Wait, A. And then plus two. All right. So check it by district. Like, let's, let's do a check. So AX times AX gives you what? 
AX squared. Oh, wait. Could it be? AX times AX is the same as A times A times X times X, which would be A squared X squared, wouldn't it? So that's okay. no good. The only thing squared in that is the x and not the a. So would it just be x plus 2? Very good. Okay. But if it was to be like a squared um, um, times x squared on the outside, then, or as the first term, it would have the ax on the inside as well. Mm hmm Yep. And your second, your second term there is okay. Okay. So for this one, I think I can take out a b, but then I'll be left with b plus a. I agree. You've navigated through these quite well. Um, on the outside, you can factor out the AX and then you just be left with, oh wait, it'd be AX squared. Okay. Factor out, and then you just be left with X plus. One, yeah. What's your hesitation? You, you you always hesitate on the ones. What's going on in your mind there? I don't know. It's like sometimes I feel like the answer should be X and it's like weird. And if, if it's like, I don't know why, but it's just like X and one are like the same and it just gets confused. Well, write it down and then, and then do the thing. Like, okay, if I take AX squared times one, do I get AX squared? And the answer is yeah right because anything times one is the anything mm -hmm. right yes. okay uh-oh um i think wait, is this where i have to like put them together um no um let's do this so let's say that we had um three star plus x star or three times star plus x times star what could you factor out um, the star. Mm -hmm. Or, um, I don't know, um, three triangle plus X triangle. What would that equal? Just a triangle times three plus X. Very good. And this is about the saddest triangle I've ever seen over here. So I'm going to try and make him better. Okay. Um, so what if you had three squiggly plus X squiggly and parens around it? What could you factor out? The squiggly? Uh-huh. Squiggly. And what would you have left with? We'll be left with three plus X. So then wouldn't it just be three plus X and then times X plus five? Yeah, because you can factor out. They have this in common, don't they? And it's just a little weird because we usually we're looking for a number or another variable, but it's just addition, right? Mm -hmm. right? And, and they're multiplying the same thing. 
So it would be, you're really factoring out the X plus five. The order doesn't matter. But what's really being factored out in the traditional sense is the X plus five. Mm -hmm. And does it matter which order it goes in? Like if the X plus five is first or the three plus X is? Well, let me ask you this. What, uh, this is multiplication, right? This mm -hmm. times this. Yeah. And these are numbers, aren't they? Eventually? Yeah. Like once we plug in a value for X, they're numbers. Mm -hmm. So what's seven times five? 35. What's five times seven? 35. Did the order matter? No. No. When you're multiplying anything, the order never matters. Okay. okay? All right, let's try B. Um, well, I know that you're going to take out the B plus three because that's what they're like, that's what they have in common. So very like, good. It'll just be B plus three and A minus five. Very good. I don't know why, but I feel like because one's in parentheses and then one isn't, like you can't factor it, but I feel like you can factor it out. Well, does this make a difference in the expression? Is it still the same expression? Yeah. So. Certainly is. What if I put this in front of here? Oh, there would just be x plus 1 times x plus 4. Good. If you don't have like a number on the outside, you would just like a one. Yeah, a, a one is always there, isn't it? A one is in front of everything. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to have parentheses. Parentheses is just to separate. Uh, you know, if I didn't, for example, um, on three times X plus five, and I'm looking at A now, plus X, um, X plus five. Well, that's X times X. It's not X times a five, is it? No. As written. So you have parentheses when necessary. You don't need parentheses here because it's just one. One times anything is anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what I put in red is what's really happening. We just don't need to write it. All right. And what do we got here? X times X plus two plus X plus two times X plus five. All right, let's go. Um. Well, I know that like you can take out like that X plus two because that's what they are sharing. That's right. And then what do you have left? You have the X and the X plus five. Okay, so what am I what am I putting what am I writing exactly after this X, which represents this guy? X plus five, I guess. Well, if I factor out an X, oh, oh, you mean X plus five, like that? Yeah, well, no, I don't, I don't like get, um, like, are you able to like combine all of those together and then you just like put it as like two X plus five? After? Yay, and we can go step by step. If it helps, you can like say, okay, well, this is all right, you know? like mm -hmm. that yeah but there's no need for the parentheses and i'm doing this the long way and you already had skipped ahead but i just want to make sure you're okay you can drop those parens because there's no need for them right yeah so this is a step-by-step -step way of doing it but you already nailed it okay wait so like um we we took out the x plus two so that means you were left with like the x 
and the x plus five. So anytime you take the common like factor out, you're gonna have to combine everything else that's like left, no yep. matter. Like, okay, because I didn't know you could do that. Absolutely, it's no different than what we've seen. It's just like here, right? What was left? The minus five was left. Yeah, there was just well, a we yeah we had minus five because we knew it was minus five yeah. here it's a number it's it, you know if this was if this had been like seven you would have had no problem at all with it being x plus two times x plus seven correct okay. well it could be seven we just don't know yet we don't we don't have a value for x so this actually is a single number once we have a value of x so you can do the same things. Is that okay? Yeah, that makes sense now. Okay. Uh, what's going on with E? Um, well, I know like initially by looking at it, you can take out the C minus D and then you only have the A plus B left. So you could just put that in the other parentheses. Sweet. All right, F is Y times two plus Y minus Y minus two. This is probably the toughest one you've had so far. Um. I have, a, I don't know, I feel like you would have to take out like a Y only, but there's also like two. Okay. Um. Well, it's a little, it's a little tantalizing. <laughs> I got something in my throat. <clears throat> it's a little, it's like, there's something going on here. You're, you know, your eye is saying there is something happening here that I should be able to do because there's a Y and a two, there's a Y and a two, right? Well, this is actually kind of a, a two-step deal. This is Y times two plus Y. And there's actually a one in front of that Y, isn't there? Oh, yeah. There. Okay. So, in fact, you could think of it as a minus one or a negative one. Mm -hmm. So, what if you factored out a negative one? You just have a positive Y. Uh-huh. And what about the, the minus two? Would that change? Yeah. If I put, yeah. Be a plus two, right? Oh. So you just have to like basically multiply it by negative one? Yes, or we think of it as factoring out negative one. Yeah. Right? Now, you have on your big, 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 big girl hoodie. I have on my big boy sophomore t-shirt, which means we really shouldn't write the one. It's okay. But we understand it's there. Yeah because you've distributed a negative through parentheses before and not even thought about it. If I put this through, it's minus Y minus two, which is exactly what we have here, yes? Yeah. Okay, so now what? Now you can take out that two plus Y. Okay, and we'll write it as Y plus two. That's okay. standard form. Um, and then you'd just be left with Y minus one, I guess, because it's on the outside. I agree. All right, so G A B X minus one plus C X minus one. Well, what? I don't think you can take out the X minus one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm pretty sure you can just combine the like do A B plus C for the other. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. You okay? I know. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, H. A X plus two minus X minus two. Okay, I know you can now factor out a negative one so that you have like a positive X uh, and a positive two. Okay, so tell me what to write exactly. It'd be minus and then in parentheses X plus two. Perfect. And now you just know that you have um, the X plus two and then your second parentheses would be A minus one. I agree. Perfect. Feeling a little bit better with yeah. this kind of stuff? A lot better. Okay, good. Okay, ooh, now we got some squares and stuff. So that's always fun, am I right? Very. Okay, <laughs> so let's just review. Ah! Um, and I'm not saying this is, oh, uh, wait a second. <laughs> No, we're not there yet. I thought we were we were going somewhere, but we're not. Okay. So we'll go with A. And that's X plus two squared minus five times X plus two. Well, I know you can take out the X plus two. Okay. So... Um, would it be like negative five plus one? Because Well, let me ask you this. What if I had y squared minus five y? What would that be? Um, you would take out the y and you'd just oh. be left with y minus five? Correct. So I had something squared minus five multiplied by the same something. Yes. Yeah. And so when I factored out the Y squared, I was left with the Y inside, right? Yeah. So just be, you know, if I, if I factor out an X plus two, there's, I've only factored out one of them. There's still one left here because it's squared, right? Yeah. So then that would be X plus two. And we don't have to keep the parentheses any longer. The only reason they're there is because of this squared. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what? Um, minus five. Uh-huh. And so... Um, Do we need these parentheses in here? No. We don't. I just put them in there for this problem only. So it's x plus 2 minus 5. Are we all good? Yeah. You What you meant to say is no. Oh, well, not done yet. But like, I thought you meant like, are you? Oh, OK. I'm sorry. No, it'd be x plus 2 times x minus 3. Very, very good. Very good. So you can take out the x minus one, mm -hmm. but then you're still going to be left with um, one of the x minus ones from the first term, which is squared. Good. So then minus three. Okay, so and I didn't I didn't put parentheses there because I I know we're good now. Be left with x minus one times x minus four. Oh wait, yeah. X minus Oh, x minus one times x minus four. That's what yeah. you said, right? Okay, absolutely. Yeah. 
right, I know you can take out the x plus one and then you're still left with an x plus one. So you'd write the x plus one plus two and then you would have to um, like add the one and the two. So it'd be x plus one times x plus three. Well, looking at it, you know that an x minus 2 can also come out of the 3x minus 6. So I think you could just take out the x minus 2. I think we should probably put, put a step in there before we do that. Like actually factor the 3x minus 6? I think so, just so to be safe. So how could I factor just 3x minus 6? What would happen there? You just take out a three and you'd be left with X minus two. There you go. You should put that step. Okay. And then you just be left with X minus two times three times X or we'll just, would it just be three X minus, wait. So take them one at a time, right? So from this first term, you factored out an X minus two, right? Yeah. Oh. And what? Go ahead. Sorry. Um. It would, would it just be three plus one? Wait. Um. Oh wait. Sorry. It'd just be x minus two plus three. Good. And then x um plus one. Good. X minus two x plus one. Very good. Let's try um, F. Okay. Well, I know that like eight plus two X can be like factored out into X plus four if you um, divide by the two, so it'd just be um, two on the outside and then x plus four inside. And then you would have to rewrite that as an x plus four, because yeah, that's what you're taking out, but then you'd still be left with the first term having an x plus four plus two. So then you'd have x plus four, x plus six. Very good. Let's see. Okay, we're going to skip to J. Okay, so, so this one, I know again, like <laughs> plus six will be able to factor out into x plus two if you divide by the three. So it'd be three times x plus two um, plus the x plus two squared. And then we know that we can take out an x squared, x, sorry, not x, squared, x plus two from this. Mm -hmm. Just be left with x plus two times x plus two plus three or three plus x plus two. Like this? Yeah. Okay. And then you just get x plus two times x plus five. Very good. <clears throat> well, they both can um, take 
You know what would be better is if I put a plus in there. Um, well, you can take out an x plus 1 squared, so then you would just be left with an x plus 1 plus 1. From yes, excellent. It would just be x plus 1 squared plus x plus 2. Very good. And then, um, how would you know if you're not supposed to like combine like the x plus one plus one, so it wouldn't be like three x? Well, there's no x here, is there? No. You can't. Those those are not like terms. There's no variable here. You can only combine variables with variables, and constant numbers with constant numbers. Constants are numbers that aren't being multiplied or divided by a variable. Okay. Okay. L, JKL, so here we go. Um, well, the only thing you can take out is just an A plus B. So then you'd be left with A plus B squared plus one. Good. And then I think that's like the most you can do. Um, you could expand this if you wanted to, but I think this is better. I would, I would prefer to leave it like this. You know what I mean by, oh my gosh, excuse me. What I mean by expanding a plus b the quantity squared. Just making it like a squared plus b squared. Oh. Or... Oh no. So two plus three squared is equal to two plus three is five mm -hmm. which is 25 is that okay oh wait do you mean like a squared and then like two a b and then b squared yes oh. darn it i was gonna yell at you i was gonna show you the whole thing and you robbed me of the fun <laughs> but you caught your mistake good uh um which oh my gosh seniors do it all the time and it makes me crazy like they'll just square each term i think they did it on purpose just to see me erupt <laughs> i'm just kidding i didn't erupt but i played like i erupted okay all right ready Okay, so you can take out the x plus, factor out the x plus one. Uh huh. And then you just be left with x plus one or two um, plus the x plus one. Okay, so I'm going to write it out and tell me if this is what you're talking about. No. So the only thing, if you fall, if you factor out an x plus one, the only thing left in this first term, things, is the two, mm -hmm. and one x plus one, right? Yeah. And I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I wrote this. This would be plus one. Oh yeah. Okay, is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Okay, my bad on the end part. So this is x plus one times what? The two times the like x plus one. Mm -hmm. And then just plus the one on the outside. Okay, can I distribute that too? Oh, you're gonna make it two x plus two. Or wait. It'd just be 2x plus 3. Good. Um. 
Um, I know you're gonna be able to pick up just the just one of the x minus twos. So then you're still gonna be left with um, another x minus two. So it'd be three times like the x minus two minus one, I think. And then you'd be left with x minus two times in like another parenthesis, it'd be three x minus seven. Yay. And then that's it. Well done. Well, I know you can't really take out the A plus B, but I feel like there's something you can do to make it able to be taken out. Okay, so then you're looking um, to see if there's anything else you could do first. Well, I know that like there's a four and there's a negative two and like another negative two. So I don't know if you're able to take out like, um, like the negative twos to make it like a plus b i'm sure so what do you mean like minus two times a plus b is that what you mean yeah okay is negative two times a negative two a yeah is negative two times plus b negative two b yeah you certainly can do it so then um how come you um wouldn't be able to like take that negative two out of the four as well. You could, it doesn't matter. You're going to end up with the same answer. Okay. So, so I wouldn't do it. I would just take it out of these two. So the four would just stay there. Mm -hmm. oh, wait. Would, would the four be um, subtracted from that? Like two, like, well, two? no. Because this is a plus b squared and this is a plus b. It'd just be four times a plus b squared. Well, what does each term have in common? They have the four. Oh, not four. Sorry. A plus b. A plus b. Oh, you want to take out a two as well. Yeah. I guess. Well, it's going to be a little harder to simplify if you do that, I think. But let's go ahead and do it. So you want to do two. And what else? A plus B? Um, I guess, yeah. Well, I only want to do what you want to do. Now I'm seeing it as you can just do it as like four, like, or, or you just take out like the A plus B and you just be left with like A plus B and then the four minus two. Okay, tell me what to write. So we factored out A plus B from both mm -hmm. of these. You'd be left with like the four times the a plus b minus two. Perfect. And then you just have um, like a plus b, and then you'd have four a and four b minus two. I think that's all we can. Well, I wonder now that you could, you know, if you look at these to fully factorize it. Nothing more I can do with a plus b, but what do four, four, and two have in common? Um, the negative two, like you could take out, or just- I, I would just take out two. Oh, okay. So you'd just be left with two, two a and two b minus one. Yep. And we always put the number out, out front the constant out front, I should say. Mm -hmm. So that would be fully factorized. 
So did that too, that's on the outside, like how come you um, like move it all the way to the left? Like it can't just stay on the outside of the second term? Yeah. It's just the standard form that a constant by itself in a string of multiplication always goes out front. Okay. That's all, because again, it doesn't order what matter, what order we multiply things in, correct? Okay, so the other thing we could have done I'm going to redo this here. So I'm going to say four times a plus b squared minus two times a plus b. Right? Yeah. So I'm just starting over at this step. Now, this is, this is where I thought you were trying to go. Maybe you were, maybe you weren't, but certainly we had the A plus B, right? Yeah. Well, between the four and the two, which are also part of each term, right? Mm -hmm. There's a two in common, isn't there? Yes. So you could have, we could have done two times A plus B. And then you would have been left with the, like just a negative one and a plus b oh, well let's wait let's 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 work on the first term first i took out an a plus b right yeah and i took out a two so what's remaining from this first term just a two and then anything else with that term um an a plus b mm -hmm. and it's still multiplied isn't it and then what do you want to put here? Um, um, like a minus one. That's right. And then you'd get the same answer. That you That's got. right. A, a little a. shorter, maybe, right? Yeah. As far as steps are concerned. So like immediately, if you see like, um, and like those two terms on the outside, like if they're like the four and between the four and like the two, if you're able to like factor out, should you? Absolutely. Your first step is what do they have in common? And we've been, we, I think perhaps why you didn't see it is we've been just so totally focused on um, binomials, like A plus B and X minus two and X plus one and all that kind of stuff. But the very first rule of factoring is, are there any numbers in common, right? So, so there's a, with a four and the two, there's a two in common that comes out. Then you move on to the A plus B squared, right? Yeah. Or the A plus B and see what the A plus Bs have in common. Well, like first, like the first step was correct to take out the, take out like an find the a plus b that way you had the negative two yep but right after that you could have just gone to factoring out a two absolutely okay. absolutely okay yeah. okay um seems to me like you're doing pretty well just some minor minor glitches that i i think we cleaned up do you have any other uh, practice homework with this? Um, I have stuff that's like the difference of two squares. All right, we have a few minutes, so we might as well take a look at that because I remember you mentioning that you were having trouble with that. Did I share my screen? Yeah, I'll take a, a screenshot. It's like this kind of thing, but... Yep, yep, yep. All right, so so I used to be a pretty good speller, but then I started teaching IB using a textbook written by Australian Australians for a British cur curriculum, and now I can't spell anything. I put S's and Z's everywhere. <laughs> Factorize. <laughs> okay, so the general form 
is if I have the difference, oops, of two squares, a squared minus b squared, it can factor into a plus b multiplied times a minus b, right? Yeah. And I'm going to prove it to you by foiling a plus b times a minus uh, a minus b. Or are you already convinced? Um, I don't know. Okay, so a times a is a squared, right? Mm -hmm. A times minus B is minus AB. Yeah. B times A is positive AB, isn't it? Yeah. And positive B times minus B is minus B squared. Mm -hmm. All right. So minus AB plus AB, they cancel out, don't they? Yeah. I'm left with A squared minus B squared. Mm -hmm. So that's why. That's like the proof of it. So it's like the opposite of when you have like a squared minus, I mean, a squared plus two AB. Um, yeah. so I'm not sure if I would say off, off, well, opposite. I would say it's different. Yeah. But like if you have like a subtraction, instead of like a plus B squared, it would be like a plus B times a minus B. It's Absolutely. Wait. Absolutely. So let's just, do, let's just try some quick ones mm -hmm. before we have to go so um i don't know let's do let's do a one one a x squared minus four can i write rewrite four as two squared oh oh yeah yeah, sure can. So that if it's the difference of two squares, then I can write the sum and difference of those two guys. Would it just be x minus two and x plus two? There you go. That was kind of simple. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, we'll do one more. Let's do, let's do G. Remember, the idea is to write each term as something squared. So 2x squared minus 3x, or 3 squared, sorry. So do you mean this, 2x the whole thing oh, squared? No, yeah. Minus then, 3 squared? Yeah. OK. Um, would it just be like? Well, from this formula, what is my A? Your A is the 2x squared. So. Mm, well, the A is the thing being squared. Oh, so the two. A is the 2x, right? It would just be 2x minus like the and 3. And this is the B. Yeah, and the B, right? Mm -hmm. So that would equal A plus B, which is 2x plus 3. And then be 2x minus 3 for the okay. second one. There you go. Oh, I just got confused because they're the squares. Right. Right. Then right. I okay. I think I'm seeing you midweek sometime. I forget when, maybe Wednesday. Um, yeah. I don't have my calendar up, but um, you did very, very well. Good job. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, again, come with me with what you're having trouble with. And that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, cause we don't want you, you know, um, you're very, you're very good. You're very smart. No doubt about it. Um, just a little tiny things, but those will really trip you up as, yeah. as you move forward, because this, you know, remember when you were memorizing your multiplication tables yeah. and now you don't even think about them. Yes. That's where you, that's where you will be with this, right? Okay. It's sort of the same thing. For what what's coming your way this is kind of like knowing your multiplication tables okay. but more complicated of course Definitely. yeah okay okay wonderful meeting you and working with you and i will see you later in the week okay all right thank you you're welcome bye samia